Hey guys, it's Poe back again with Let's Get Techie. Uh, so it's been quite some time since I've uploaded. Uh, unfortunately, I've just been very busy with life. Um, almost a year ago now, I had my first child. Uh, he's actually turning one next week. Uh, so we're getting ready to have a birthday party. Um, but nevertheless, this came in the mail the other day, and I did not want to pass up the opportunity to share this with you guys. Uh, today we're going to put a water block on this and test performance and see how it does. Uh, so stick around. I think you're going to enjoy it. So now that we've got the block installed, uh, we're going to run a few benchmarks. Uh, I'm kind of limited on time, and plus you guys have already gotten the full gamut of benchmarks from plenty of other channels. Um, so I did a few synthetics and then three games. Uh, we chose PUBG because of how popular it is, uh, Madden 19 because it's brand new, and Far Cry 5 just because that was another recent title that I had. Um, I had considered doing Forza Horizon 4 since it's brand new, downloaded it, and it was crashing uh, while loading the game, so I wasn't even able to play it, let alone benchmark it. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the performance.
So as you guys could see, uh, it did fairly well in everything. Um, we did a good job with synthetics. Um, it actually beat my Titan XP card uh, by 3,000 points in the 1080p Extreme uh, Superposition benchmark. Uh, so that was fairly impressive to me. That card was water-cooled as well. Um, I'm not sure if it was a good score or not, but I, I would consider this score fairly good. Um, I'm happy with the card. It is incredibly expensive. Um, it makes no sense price to performance. Um, but it's one of those things that I wanted. Um, I wanted to splurge on it. I enjoy new technology. Um, would I encourage people to buy one? Probably not. I would, um, I would say go for a 10 series. Uh, I was actually able to buy a used 1080 Ti on eBay uh, for about $450 shipped. So that is where I would put my money uh, if I was trying to get good price to performance. Unfortunately, we weren't able to sustain above 60 frames per second uh, all the time in our games. Um, and I don't believe that would be the case for several other games. Um, they did play well, uh, but when you crank it up to max settings at 4K, um, it just, it's not going to do above 60 frames per second in every single game out there. Uh, PUBG is notorious for not being the best optimized game, though they have done better on it recently. Uh, it just seems like every time they release a new patch, they introduce new bugs uh, and new performance issues. Um, Madden, all in all, wasn't bad. Uh, unfortunately, you can tell that it's a port. Um, I would have liked to have seen that game built from the ground up for PC. Um, and Far Cry 5 uh, was a good game as well. I think it performed uh, perfectly fine, but you're going to have to find certain games uh, if you want to go for the 4K over 60 FPS all the time. Um, you're probably going to need two of these cards if you want to take advantage of one of the new 4K high refresh monitors. Uh, but I wouldn't suggest anyone do that just because of how cost prohibitive it is. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this one. I appreciate you watching. Uh, make sure to get subscribed if you aren't already. Uh, unfortunately, I can't tell you when my next upload will be because I'm not even sure what the next upload is going to be. Um, but stay tuned for that. I appreciate everyone who stayed subscribed, even though I haven't been on a regular upload schedule. Uh, unfortunately, you know, with a full-time job and a family, it's just not possible. Um, but I appreciate it. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.